This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the parametric EQ filter in Adobe Audition. And let's go to Audition. Let me just show you a few things. The very first thing that I want to do is I want to shape the sound. This is a person talking. And to shape the sound, we're going to apply in the EQ setting the parametric equalizer. And when we look at the preset, this is what the graphic equalizer looks like when there's nothing applied. Human hearing is defined as the range from 20 cycles, which is extreme deep bass, to 20,000 cycles. And notice that we're not increasing or decreasing any of the frequencies in that entire range of human hearing, 20 to 20K. Human speech is a subset of that. Human speech starts around 200 cycles and ends around 7,000 cycles for a guy, 400 cycles to 8,000 cycles for a girl, and roughly, I don't know, 700 cycles to 10,000 cycles for a kid. Kids have got squeaky high voices. If I say, I want to cut stuff out below about, oh, 100, 150 cycles. Now remember, uh, this is, see this is your old line here. At zero line, that says that I'm not making the noises softer when it's at the zero line. I am making the frequencies softer when it's below the zero line, and I'm boosting the frequencies when it's above the zero line. So we can start to shape this curve to get rid of low frequency sounds by pulling this down. The low frequencies are where vowels live. That's where your voice has its richness, its sexiness, its warmth, its Characteristics that allow you to recognize the voice are all low frequency sounds. But intelligibility comes from higher frequency sounds, generally in the 2500 to 5000 category. That's where consonants live. The difference between the letter F is in Frank and S is in Sam, both of which are called fricatives because it's formed by the sound of air passing between the tip of your tongue and the roof of your mouth, is 6000 cycles. That's the hiss in an S. If you hear the hiss, then it's an S. If you don't hear the hiss, it's an F. The letters are formed the same way. So to emphasize whether it's an S or an F, I'm going to have some hissing around 6,000 cycles. So if I want to warm a man's voice up, I'm going to boost it about 3 dB, right around 200 cycles. I'll probably have a Q of 1. What Q does is it determines the shape of this, this, if it's, well, here, I'll show you. Here's a 10. Okay, that's a notch. And here's a 0.5. That's a hill. So we want to have a cue generally of around 1, maybe 2, because I want to warm up the voices at the low end of the range. Maybe a 2 is better here, because this gets kind of muddy. For consonants, for a guy, I'm going to take a guy's voice, move it to 3,000 cycles, and boost it about 4 dB. This allows me to emphasize the consonants. It makes the voice more intelligible, easier to understand, especially for older ears. Now, I'm not boosting this a huge amount. We're not creating mountains here. That's way too excessive. I'm boosting it between 3 and 5 dB. For a girl, I'm going to take the voice and boost it the same amount, but about 4,000 hertz. If I'm recording a phone call, the telephone circuitry that, that the phone companies use chops all frequencies over 2,500 cycles. They're just not there. They do that to reduce the bandwidth that the phone system has to deal with. The phone system passes frequencies from 250 cycles to 2,500 cycles, which is a fraction of human speech but it's surprisingly good enough for us to be able to recognize the voice and understand what they're saying. So boosting frequencies at 4,000 cycles when a phone doesn't pass above 2,500 doesn't make any sense. Most of the time for the phone call, I'm going to boost the bass and leave the highs alone. So in terms of how I shape voices, for guys, I boost at 200 and 3,000. For girls, I boost at 400 and 4,000. If you want to see what I use for my voice that I use for all of my webinars and all of my training, this is what it looks like. A 3 dB boost around 185 cycles, 
and a 4.5 dB boost around 3,100 cycles because in my training, I really want you to understand what I'm saying. So I boost the highs just a little bit extra to make sure that my diction is emphasized by the clarity of the sound to make this easier to understand as you listen to it, especially on smaller computer speakers. This has been an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 259. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.